Hi, welcome back. So we are already done with the two chapters, and I hope you guys are following up. Now this is the third chapter, which is the basis of human behavior. Now this chapter pretty much deals with a very biological perspective, perspective towards understanding the human behavior. So. this chapter is going to elucidate the relationship of the complex human behavior with the biological perspectives as well with the nervous system with particularly the brain and how it is going to influence predict control or maybe bring a change to the human behavior so for me this chapter was a uh, pretty tricky because i was not interested in biology so that is why maybe for you if you are interested in biology then this chapter would be very much easy and this is something related with the class 11th uh, not just 11 but yeah sorry this is very much relatable with the class 8th 9th science so this is going to be a piece of cake for you now let's move ahead with the first topic which is how neurons are transmitting information and basically what is a neuron so neuron are the basic units of our nervous system and they are specialized cells that convert various forms of stimuli into the electrical impulses they receive information from sense organs or adjacent neurons and transfer them to the central nervous system that is cns and also they bring the motor information from the cns to the motor neurons their pathway is pretty much illustrated here that how they are actually going from the dendrites to exons and uh, sorry from dendrites to soma and then to exons and uh, then the terminal buttons now if you actually look into the structure of neuron which i think you might have already studied so i'm not going to elaborate more about it we will just look into the particular function of a particular structure dendrites dendrites receive the incoming neural impulses from the adjacent neurons or directly from the sense organs the nerve impulse is passed on to the main body of the neuron which is called as the soma from there it is uh, passing on to the exon and exon's function is to mainly help in transmitting the information to the terminal buttons terminal buttons main function is to transmit the information to another neuron or to the gland or to the muscle so basically neurons are generally conducting in the information in only one direction which is from dendrites through soma exon to the terminal buttons now um, we move ahead with the nervous system we know that a nervous system is the most complex and developed part of all the living creatures and it is a massive network of the nerve cells that relay messages to and from the cns so uh, very much it is depicted um, we can actually elaborate on it that is the cns which is central nervous system it is the part of the brain now brain is inside the hard bony case that is cranium and backbone the brain and the spinal cord are the organs of the system the parts of nervous system other than cns are placed in peripheral nervous system which is further classified into somatic and autonomic so um, try to imagine this flow chart where we have cns then the cns is having brain and spinal cord which is further elaborated into pns which is peripheral nervous system which is then divided into somatic and autonomic the pns comprised of all the neurons and the nerve fibers that are facilitating the connection of cns to the rest of the body and it provides information to the cns from the receptors that is eyes skin and relays back motor commands from the brain to the muscles and to the glands somatic nervous system is concerned with voluntary actions and they basically consist of two nerves one is sensory and one is motor so sensory ka kaam ye hai ki wo sare informations sense organs se cns tak leke ja raha hai aur motor nerves ka kaam ye hai ki wo sare information central nervous system se sense organs tak le kar ke ja raha hai the autonomic nervous system governs the activities which are not under the direct control of humans and basically governed by the blood circulation breathing emotional reactions etc 
ऑटोनॉमिक को हम फर्दर क्लासीफाई करते हैं पैरा सिंपेथेटिक और सिंपेथेटिक में ना लेट जस्ट लुक इन टू द बेसिक फंक्शन ऑफ दैम पैरा सिंपेथेटिक इनबिट सेलिब्रेशन इट इंक्रीज द स्वेटिंग इट डिक्रीज द डाइजेस्टिव फंक्शन ऑफ द इंटरस्टैंड एंड इट एक्सलरेट द हार्ट बीट Sympathetic increases the digestive functions of the intestine. It slows the heart rate. It increases the salivation and also inhibits sweating. The central nervous system is the center of all the neural activities. So basically, it is the integration of all the incoming sensory informations, and it performs all kind of cognitive activities and the issues motor commands to the glands and the muscles. now we talked about the central nervous system let's move ahead with the brain and the spinal cord so basically brain has three functions sections the one is the hind brain then the second the fore brain and third is the mid brain now let's just deal with the basic functions and what these sections consists of so the hind brain consists of medulla pons and cerebellum medulla is responsible for regulation of heart rate blood pressure pons helps in controlling respiration and cerebellum helps in coordinating the voluntary muscle movement and maintaining body posture the fore brain consists of the cerebrum the thalamus and the hypothalamus cerebrum consists of four lobes mainly the frontal parietal occipital and temporal thalamus involves recognizing sensory stimuli relay of sensory impulses to the cerebral cortex and the hypothalamus is mainly responsible for regulating the cardiac functioning blood pressure and respiration now the mid brain mid brain is the major pathway of the sensory and motor impulses moving between the fore brain and the mid brain it is responsible for coordination of visually uh, visual and auditory reflexes now let's move ahead with the spinal cord the spinal cord functions primarily in the transmission of neural signals between the brain and the rest of the body so it basically have two major functions which are that it carries sensory impulses coming from lower parts of the body to the brain and motor impulses originating from the brain to all over the body it performs simple <coughs> it performs some simple reflexes that do not involve brain reflex action is an involuntary action that occurs very quickly after it's a specific kind of stimulation without the conscious decision of the brain for example if someone is snapping in front of your eyes then your eyes blink so it is just a movement of action of a snap of seconds but it is a very specific kind of stimulation now let's see how the endocrine system that is the genes are you know, very much related and influencing the behavior the endocrine system is basically comprised of all those glands who are secreting hormones directly to the blood stream and it helps in our development and behavior now the study of in inheritance of the physical and psychological characteristics from uh, our ancestors is something which we term as genetics we all know about the chromosomes that these are the hereditary elements of the body and they are the thread like pair structures in the nucleus of each cell so the number of chromosome per nucleus is distinctive and is constant for each organism each chromosome consists of dna and there are 23 pair of chromosomes we pretty much know about all these things the genotype of an organism is the genetic code in its cell that influences the individual's development whereas the whereas the phenotype depends upon the genotype but can be influenced by the environmental factors genes are transmitted from parents to offspring sorry genes are transmitted from parents to offspring whereas memes are transmitted between two individuals in a matter of hours so basically we will have to see that how the genes how the and genetic endowment is influencing any individual's behavior now let's see how a culture can influence the human behavior or impact the human behavior we know culture it is very essential aspect but we should know how to define it it is the man made part of the environment that comprises the diverse products of the behavior of many people including ourselves which can be material products ideas approaches etc it comprises values that will be expressed and a language which will help in expressing the values it can also contain a way of life that will be followed by the majority who grew, grew up in that particular context
it indicates the substantial or abstract particulars which have prior existence in one form or the other so basically culture is something which is um giving an individual all those values all those beliefs all those ideas about how to perceive something all those approaches of perceiving thinking memory learning all such cognitive activities basically all over how a individual is growing up in that particular context in that particular culture now let's talk about a culture and culturation is something which is uh, acquiring someone's rules someone's norms values customs and the guidelines in order to be a part of the society so enculturation is something where we are involved like culcating all those activities customs skills whatever are there in the society first and foremost familiarization is a process to the culture and it is the process of acquiring culture it belongs only one culture and yes it is essential for survival because it is going to uh, shape the individual behavior but it does not modifies the existing cultural practices on the other hand our culturation implies to the process of transforming the cultural beliefs and customs of one's own culture by adopting the traits of a different culture it is subsequent familiarization for different cultures it is a process in which one's culture is subsumed subsumed or may be involved in the other's culture it includes two or more cultures and it is not essential for survival but it does modifies the existing cultural practices and it also results in assimilation so the point is that our culturation is something where we are adopting or maybe sub uh, subsuming others cultures but enculturation is something like for an example a christian's mother is teaching her son to how to pray that would be enculturation now let's move ahead with the topic of socialization we all know what is socialization we often use this word it is the process by which individuals acquire knowledge skills and the dispositions that enable them to participate as an effective group member and as an effective member of a society it does, it forms the basis of social and cultural transmission from one generation to another Uh, the rewards and punishments serves as the basic means of achieving the goals of socialization the four main agents are parents the school peer groups and media influences basically all these main agents play a very vital role in all round development of an individual so with this we have came to an end to this chapter and i know you might be feeling this was a quick revision for you all so yeah surely it was so this chapter was something which was a very quick revision to whatever you have learned before so that we can revise all the biological perspectives and how the these perspectives can influence the human behavior eventually move, when we will move ahead then you will be able to correlate these concepts with the psychological uh psychological aspects of a human being or maybe the psyche of a human so this chapter was just a revision and i hope i was able to give you a very clear gist about it and you guys were able to know basically what is there in this chapter and brush up all those whatever you have learned before in your previous classes and eventually when as and when we will move move ahead then you guys will be able to get to the point you guys will be able to correlate all the concepts and see how it is impacting and developing a human individual so yeah now you know the drill you know we are to get all the learning materials from check the description box below there you will find all the learning material and the presentation the notes and all the solved ncert solutions so that it will help you in learning and getting good grades and examinations
yeah so with this we have came to an end and i hope you liked it if there is any query or suggestion you may leave ahead in the description box thank you